Jonathan, so you play Jesus. Uh, you're the the big character in, in The Chosen. He's a strong supporting. Right. Strong, strong supporting. supporting role yeah. in The Chosen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so but you've been with Dallas Jenkins really from the beginning uh, of all of this. Did you ever anticipate that The Chosen would become The Chosen that everybody uh, talks about? You know, you, you hope that uh, a, a series like The Chosen will, will get to a level of global recognition and professional recognition and, and, and spiritual acknowledgement from the people who maybe need to hear these stories more than anyone. But you, you never expect it. Mm. You hope, you pray for it, but you, you, you just don't know. Yeah. I mean, even now, I don't know what this will look like in season six or season seven. Mm. Uh, I think I have an idea, but I could be completely wrong. And uh, only God knows. So I, I'm just grateful to be living in the present, watching it develop, to hearing stories of people being changed and moved and inspired, and uh, knowing that uh, my work as an actor um, in this particular program has an impact in a way that you know some of the other shows I've done out, you know, in, in Hollywood um, don't necessarily uh, have that same kind of impact. Mm. And you mentioned being prayerful on the uh, on the front end, like just just being open, like Lord, I hope you use this in a way yeah. uh, that's profound. How has that continued as a thread throughout the process of uh, as an actor of uh, depicting Jesus? What's the spiritual side of of preparation like in addition to the acting side? I think I, I have to. I mean, I start all of my prep for for this show with prayer and and even outside of this show, just prayer is part of my life, it's the part of the fabric of, of my life every day. And uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get through a day without prayer. So it's part of my identity, you know, it's, it's, it's part of my DNA. And, you know, I think that, I think in order to, for this show, for me to, to, to serve this show the best, I have to be as attuned to my spirituality and, and my mm -hmm. commitment to to my faith um, above above anything else. And when I'm doing that, that helps me bring more of an authenticity to the character because all of these characters in the show, Jesus and the disciples and everybody that's connected to to the, the storylines. That uh, I mean, with the exception of the Romans, but the Romans have their own set of spirituality but um they were all actively you know committed and participating in their faith in their faith life so i think that that's a huge part of of what i do in in service to the show and when the, when the source material is something as profound as it is yeah. like like scripture mm -hmm. uh, and the bible how how have you put in place maybe spiritual practices uh, that can kind of help you in that process? Because I imagine there's a huge spiritual component even to just the practical steps of preparing for your role. Sure. I mean, every every day I'm, I'm either reading or listening to the Word. So mm -hmm. I, I'm always, um, or listening to reflections on, on the Word, on the Gospel of the day or whatever, you know. So yeah. I'm always kind of staying connected that way because it is profound. It is profound in a way that people who have never read the Bible won't really understand unless until they start reading the Bible and then seeing that like that there's 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 uh, infinitely profound implications for for just reading and just mm -hmm. digesting it and and letting it affect your spirit. And do you feel a weight as as a person when you know that that you your face has kind of become synonymous for so many people uh, with the character of Jesus? Do you, I mean does that weigh on you at all? You know. I, there are times where I've been, where I feel a little overwhelmed, mm. but I don't feel, and I might even be contradicting myself in, in some in some ways, um, but I think it's because I'm just not, I just haven't, exp I haven't quite figured out how to explain it. I, I don't feel like a responsibility to be Jesus to people. I have a responsibility to 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 play this role as authentically as possible, knowing that it will impact people in a way that only God can understand. I can sort of get the sense of it when they relate the stories to me. So somebody just recently 
I ran to, into somebody, this a fan at the, in the parking lot, and they they told me that the show helped save their marriage. Hmm. And I, I I met another young lady a year ago who was going to commit suicide, and then somebody got her to watch the first episode of the show, and she was convinced that God loved her enough and so much that she didn't want to take her life anymore. Wow. And when you hear that, you're like, whoa, that's, I didn't do that. God did that yeah. through me and through this, this work, through this show. Hmm. So in that, in that sense, I'm not responsible, but I do feel a little overwhelmed when people are looking at me as if I'm the, the, the 21st century personification of the relationship they hold most dear to their own hearts, hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. And how do you prepare then practically, you know, just logistically for, for your character, for, for portraying Jesus on the show, knowing how, how important it is for all of those reasons, and then getting down to something as, as you know, basic, even though it's complex, as the accent? Mm-hmm. Like, how is that something that you developed? So, um, again, for me, it starts with reading or listening to the Word. That's part of my prep. That's, that's the first thing I do in, in the day. So that's part of my practical uh, prep for the role, uh, as well as, f- you know, for myself as a, as a human. Um, the accent comes from a, a, a combination of my father's accent and my, his sister-in-law's accent. So his sister-in-law's from Palestine. My father's from Egypt. So I kind of mix the two, I kind of mush it together and, and it, it sort of, it, the accent I do is essentially a light Middle Eastern accent. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I want to ask too about kind of a, a side thing is you were working on Jesus Revolution yes. and working on The Chosen. <laughs> what was it like balancing these two, you know, pretty big projects going on at the at the same time? Well, I think for Jesus Revolution, it's it, it was really important that people not necessarily see me mm-hmm. as Jesus, right, or the physical personification of Jesus, but just in another movie with a different name. So I ended up losing 20 pounds. Mm. Um, I, de- I bleached my hair closer to the color of Lonnie. Fr- I play Lonnie Frisbee, the uh, pastor, a uh, hippie pastor, uh, preacher for in, in the early 70s. And, uh, and so he, he was kind of a, a chestnut colored hair. So I, I bleached my hair, I grew out my beard. He had a really long beard. I lost weight because he was a very slim build. He was like five foot five and maybe weighed a hundred pounds. Hmm. A size five shoe. He was like he was a tiny guy, and uh, and so I'm six feet tall and normally 175 pounds, 180 pounds. So um, so I I dropped down to 155 pounds and, and wow. uh, yeah, and then just different mannerisms and. Um, uh, yeah, I'm 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 excited because it 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 will be a departure from what people are used to seeing me. This yeah. audience is used to seeing me too. Right, like having that duality of doing both, I think at the same time, I'm certain is is complex. Yeah, I, I, and two weeks after I finished that, I went on to season three, so I had to right. quickly start eating again and <laughs> change my hair color again <laughs> and change the accent, and because Lonnie was American, and so hmm. yeah, um, yeah, it was it it. it it was tough to kind of do them one right after mm-hmm. the other. I don't know if I'd do that again. I think I'd need a little more space to kind of transition a little easier. But yeah. uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't change it. I mean, it was it was uh, it was a great experience, and and I'm I'm just very grateful to to have work. So yeah, absolutely. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. I'm looking forward to both season three of The Chosen and uh, Jesus Revolution. Season three is going to melt your face off. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great.